get resources, or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? We had discussions internally about whether we should build a kid's version of Instagram, like the kid's versions that. of YouTube yep. and other services. Um, we haven't actually moved forward with that, and we currently have no plans to do so. So I, I, I can't speak directly to the exact emails that you, that you cited, but it sounds to me like they were deliberations around a project that people internally thought was important and we didn't end up moving forward with. Who got fired because of that? Senator, we study all of this because it's important and we want to improve our services. Well, you just told and me I a second ago you studied it, but that there was no linkage. Who Senator, did you, you fire? Yeah, I said you mischaracterized. 37% of teenage girls between 13 and 15 were exposed to unwanted nudity in a week on Instagram. You knew about it. Who did you fire? Senator, this is why we're building all Who these did you fire? Tools. Good morning. Necessarily something that's well loved. The use of online platforms to target and groom children and the production and endless distribution of child sexual abuse material, CSAM which can haunt victims for their entire lives and in some cases take their lives. But TikTok, your representative in Israel quit the company because TikTok is being used in a way to basically destroy the Jewish state. Was all of the data collected by TikTok prior to Project Texas shared with the Chinese government uh, pursuant to the national intelligence laws of that country? Senator, we have not been asked for any data by the Chinese government, and we have never provided it. Um, so we, Mr. Citron, if that were working, we wouldn't be here today. Senator uh, Chair, there, this is an ongoing challenge for all of us. That, that, that is why we're here today. Your uh, organization and business is one of the more popular ones among children. Can you explain to us what you are doing particularly and whether you have seen any evidence of CSAM in your business? Yes, Senator. Um, we have a strong commitment to invest in trust and safety. And as I said in my opening statement, I intend to invest more than $2 billion in trust and safety this year alone. We have 40,000 safety professionals you know, working on this topic. We have built a specialized child safety team to help us identify specialized issues, horrific issues like uh, material like the ones you have mentioned. That has to stop, folks. How do you expect the people in the audience to believe that we're going to help their families if we don't have some system or a combination of systems to hold these people accountable? Because for all the upside, the dark side is too great to live with. We do not need to live this way as Americans. Senator, that's, I don't think that that's who did you fire? Uh, I'm, I'm not going to answer that. Because um, <laughs> I mean, you didn't is, fire anybody, right? You didn't take so any there, significant I, I action. It's appropriate to talk about it, it, like individual it's not appropriate. HR decisions. That Do you know who's like sitting that. behind you? You've got families from across the nation whose children are either severely harmed or gone, and you don't think it's appropriate to take a, talk about steps that you took? The fact that you didn't fire a single person? To, Let, me Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Have you compensated any of the victims? Sorry? Have you compensated any of the victims? I, These girls, I, have you compensated them? I don't believe so. You, why not? Don't you think they deserve some compensation for what your platform has done? Help Senator, with counseling services? Help with dealing with the issues that your, your service has caused? Our, our job is to make sure that we build tools to help keep people safe. Are you going to platform. compensate them? Senator, our job and what we take seriously is making sure that we build industry-leading tools to find harmful to content, make money. take it off the services, uh, to make money. and to build tools that empower parents. So you didn't take any them. action. But you didn't take any true, action. Senator. You didn't fire anybody. You haven't that's compensated a single not, victim. Let me ask you said. this. Let me ask you this. There's families of victims here today. Have you apologized to the victims? I, Would I'm, you like to do so now? Well, They're here. You're on national television. Would you like now to apologize to the victims who have been harmed by your product? Show them the pictures. Would you like to apologize for what you've done to these good people? I, I, I'm sorry for everything that you have all gone through. It's terrible. No one should have to go through the things that your families have, have suffered. And this is why we invest so much and are going to continue doing industry-leading efforts 
to uh, to make sure that no one has to go through the types of things that your families have had to suffer. Warning screen to individuals who were searching for child abuse material. The, these results may contain images of child sexual abuse. And then you gave users two choices. Get resources or see results anyway. Mr. Zuckerberg, what the hell were you thinking? All right, Senator. Um, the, the, the basic science behind that is that when people are searching for something that is problematic, it's often helpful to, rather than just blocking it, to help direct them towards something that, um, that could be helpful for getting them to get help. In what, I also, understand get resources. In what sane universe is there a link for see results anyway? Well, because we might be wrong. We, we try to trigger this, this uh, warning, or we tried to, um, when we th think that there's any chance that the results Okay, you might, might be, be wrong. Let me ask you, how many times was this warning screen displayed? I don't know, but the... But the hey, you don't know. Why don't you know? I, I, I don't know the answer to that off the top of my head. But, well, but You know what, Mr. Zuckerberg? It's interesting you say you don't know it off the top of your head, because I asked it in June of 2023 in an overlight, oversight letter, and your company refused to answer. Will you commit right now to within five days answering this question for this committee? We'll follow up on that. Is that a yes? Not a will follow up. I know how lawyers write statements saying we're not going to answer. Will you tell us how many times this warning screen was displayed? Yes or no? We provide in-app reporting tools so that people who are being harassed or who are, you know, have been shared inappropriate sexual content can report it. In the case of harassment or sexual content, we typically respond to those reports within 15 minutes so that we can provide help. When L.W., the victim, sued in Snapchat, her case was dismissed under Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. Do you have any doubt that had SNAP faced the prospect of civil liability for facilitating sexual exploitation, the company would have implemented even better safeguards? Senator, we already work extensively to proactively detect this type of behavior. We make it very difficult for, for predators to find teens on Snapchat. There are no public friends lists, no public profile photos. Uh, when we recommend uh, friends for uh, teens, we make sure that they have several mutual friends in common before making that recommendation. We believe those safeguards are important to preventing predators from misusing our platform. Mr. Citron, according to Discord's website, it takes a, quote, proactive and automated approach to safety only on servers with more than 200 members. Smaller servers rely on s server owners and community moderators to define and enforce behavior. So how do you defend an approach to safety that relies on groups of fewer than 200 sexual predators to report themselves for things like grooming, trading a CSAM, or sextortion?